Happy Saturday, everyone. We have a tornado warning in place for Tallinn and Wyndham counties. Here's a look at live Doppler radar. Start things off with a wide view here. So we do have a line of showers and storms that's moving through. But as I zoom in here, we actually have this isolated cell that we're watching right now. A severe thunderstorm warning was issued for Tallinn and Wyndham counties as well. But now we have this tornado warning here as well. So one thing I want to talk about, let's talk about what's going on with this alert. Let's get some information on this. Again, we have a tornado warning in place for Tallinn and Wyndham counties. This goes until 745. So we have about 20 minutes on this severe thunderstorm warning. Again, this includes areas like Brooklyn, Chaplin, Hampton and Mansfield. We're talking about rotation with this storm. A tornado warning means that there is an imminent threat. We saw this rotation. I was actually just updating folks here on Facebook Live not too long ago. I was like, let's look at this storm right here. We've got this line that's going through right now. And then as soon as I looked at it on Facebook Live, we could see uh, that uh, severe thunderstorm warning that was issued. So again, we have that tornado warning, but there's also a larger severe thunderstorm warning that's in place as well. So we have that severe thunderstorm warning. Let's get some information on that. I believe that goes until 8.15. Yes, I believe that's 815 for the severe thunderstorm warning. The tornado warning that, however, goes until uh, 745. So about 20 minutes on that. So again, severe thunderstorm warning bigger, but also includes the same areas as that tornado warning. Radar indicated we could be talking about some strong damaging winds upwards of 60 miles an hour. So let's talk about the rotation within this storm for this uh, tornado warning. See, maybe if I can, let me go back to the radar. Let's get some of that information here. Let's look at the wind field for this storm. So you can kind of see, let me see if I can zoom in here. Does it look too impressive. Let's zoom all the way in. So my friends in Mansfield, if you live around Mansfield, Route 195, Route 203, Chaplin along 198, you're in the line for this to move through. So you can kind of see what we look for is something that's called a couplet. So you look for those bright greens and those bright reds right next to each other, coupled up together. So we have some of those bright greens that's indicating those winds moving toward the radar, which is located in Taunton, Massachusetts. But the red's not quite as bright right now. But you do see we've got the greens here and we've got the reds here. The reds indicating moving away from the radar. The winds moving away from the radar. Think of it like your uh, the backlights on your car. Those are red. They're moving away from you. So we do have some red and some green coupled close together. Something else I want to look for. Let's see if maybe oh, wrong button there. Let's see if maybe zooming back out again. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in place as well for all of Connecticut. That goes until nine o'clock this evening. But our main concern right now is that tornado warning for Tallinn and Wyndham counties. And then also going to be that severe thunderstorm warning that's also in place for Tallinn and Wyndham counties for a little bit longer. So I want to go back to the radar here. Let's do a little quick reset. So again, we have this line of showers and storms that's producing bright, vivid lightning, not too much lightning, but we also have this area back off now moving mostly in Wyndham County right now. And with that last radar scan, you can see something that's called a hook echo. So check this out. This is kind of wrapping around this little small piece. And I was watching that little concerned for it. And that's why they issue that tornado warning. And also we do have those winds moving away from the radar and then moving toward the radar coupled close together. Again, that's called a couplet. So you can see this is moving to the east, southeast a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, look at something else here. Let's see if there's anything being lofted up. Let's head back to the pressing the wrong buttons here, folks. Bear with me here. Let's go to what's called the correlation coefficient. So that'll show us if there's something in that area that's looking a little bit different. Is there something maybe being thrown up by a tornado? We have that rotation, but is there something being picked up out there that's being thrown out? So what we look for, we have all of this mess here, all of this red, these warmer colors, that burgundy. What we look for is something that's blue, something that's green, kind of like in a little ball. 
We kind of have that right here around Chaplin, around 198. So that's a little bit concerning because remember, we just saw that little hook on the radar return, that little hook echo, and this blue spot is not too terribly far away from it. So I want to zoom in, see if we can get to street level. Again, Mansfield, Chaplin, uh, Chaplin along 198, Bedlam Road, Bassett's Bridge Road, South Bear Hill Road, South Brook Road, Parish Hill Road. If you heard your road, a road that's two blocks over, if you know somebody that lived in those areas, also Tower Hill Road. And again, this is right on that Tallinn and Wyndham County line. So we've got this area that we're watching right here is this blue area. This is what we call the correlation coefficient. This shows us, hey, there's something that's a different size than everything else around it, which at this point would be raindrops. So we're keeping an eye on this moving now into Wyndham County. It's right on that shared line with Tallinn County. So that's of concern for me. And this is moving off to the east. Let's look at something else very quickly. I want to look at something that's called the turbulence, but actually, wait a second, let's look at the hail, see if there's any hail with this that we may need to be concerned with. Okay, that doesn't want to work for me right now. Let's take a look at what's going on as far as rotation tracker goes. So this is actually showing some weak uh, rotation moving out of Tallinn County. So around east of Mansfield, eastern parts of Mansfield, heading into Wyndham County again. If you're in or around the Chaplin area, you know someone around that area, Bassett's Bridge Road, as we look towards Bedlam Road, Atwood Road, Atwoodville Road, moving east towards South Bear Hill Road, this is your heads up. You're under a tornado warning. We're seeing some signs of rotation. We're seeing some signs that we could be dealing with something being thrown up in the atmosphere by a tornado. So we do have that rotation. We have the couplet, we've had the hook echo, so we do have these signs that are indicating that there may actually be a tornado that we're dealing with, but of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. So this is moving out of Tallinn and into Wyndham County, a tornado warning actively in place for the next 15 minutes here. So I wanna see if we can maybe find that turbulence. So we've looked at the uh, reflectivity, we've looked at the radar, we've looked at the winds. Let's check out the winds once again, actually. So we can still see that bright blue here around Bedlam Road heading toward 198, South Bear Hill Road. And then we look a little bit north the reds not quite as bright as you may see them with other tornado warnings, but it's enough. We've got those bright greens showing up right now, right next to those reds. So we've got the rotation. We've got a signature that there may be something being lofted up into the atmosphere. And this is again moving off to the east. So my friends in Hampton, if you were joining me on Facebook Live, someone joined in from Hampton. Heads up, this is potentially moving in your direction. So I wanna do another quick reset because this is not the only thing that we're watching, but of course this is of most importance. But since we didn't have a six o'clock newscast, I wanna reset here. Let's go ahead back to the reflectivity. I also wanna take you to the full view of Connecticut so we can show you what's going on here. So this line of showers and storms, this was of concern. We have the lightning, we've got heavy rain, we're under a flood watch. Actually, we don't just have the severe thunderstorm watch in place right now. We have a flood watch for all of inland Connecticut through the next few hours. So Hartford, Tallinn and Wyndham counties are under a severe thunderstorm watch, also under a flood watch. And we also have multiple warnings in place for areas of east central and northeastern Connecticut. Again, you're seeing some of those lightning flashes out there as well. So we could be talking about that reduced visibility because we have those downpours out there. In addition to this potential rotation, something being thrown up into the atmosphere, we could be talking about some potential debris from this rotation as well. So we've got this rain moving through. Let's see if we can play this through to kind of show you the track of how this is moving here through our state. So this has been moving in since about 545, 530. So we do have this rain moving in. If you're along the shoreline, you're kind of like, what are you talking about? It has been bright, it's been beautiful, especially into southeastern Connecticut. But with this line moving through, we're keeping an eye on that as it moves through over the next couple of hours. So still about 10 minutes left here on this um, 
tornado warning that's in place actively for Tallinn and Windham counties. Let's zoom in. I want to look downstream just a little bit more. We still have kind of that hook echo, but it might be falling apart, which is great news. We want this to drop. We want it just to rain out there, right? So our friends again in Hampton, let's zoom in just a little bit more. Get some of those street names in there. So Hampton along 97. This is now moving along Route 6. So this is really skirting that northern edge of this tornado warning. So let's zoom into the Hampton area right now. So downstream from Chaplin. So if you're in Hampton, Rawson area in Stetson Corner, Clark's Corner, again heading toward 97, pretty much north of Route 6. This is moving towards you. We do have this active tornado warning in place and it kind of looks like that storm that would have the rotation is moving just north of Route 6 now in eastern, excuse me, western Wyndham County, but we still have some heavy rain that's pushing through. So even once this storm moves out, this tornado warned and severe warned storm, frankly, we have the severe thunderstorm warning still in place until 815 the tornado warning goes until 745. Other than that, we don't have any warnings in place, but we have that flood watch for inland Connecticut, and we also have that severe thunderstorm watch in place for all of Connecticut through the next couple of hours here. So again, we have this tornado warning in place. It looks like they just updated that. So let's go ahead and check that out. It looks like they just took Tallinn County out of that warning here. Uh, for the most part, they've taken Tallinn County out of that warning. So you kind of can still see that little bit the storm's still trying to hook, still trying to rotate there right around Chaplin. So my friends in Chaplin, if you're in Hampton, this is your alert that you need to get to your safe place. You need to get to the bottom floor of your home away from in windows, as far away from windows as you can get. OK, again, this is moving off to the east. We still have 10 minutes with this, but in a wider view, we also have a severe thunderstorm warning pretty much wrapped around that, right? So let's go ahead, let's zoom into some of these. We're gonna name street names again. I just want you guys to know where this is. South Bear Hill Road, this rotation is right on top of you, if not moving out, so South Bear Hill Road. Back toward Hampton, Route 97. This is your heads up. This storm is pretty much skirting the northern part of this tornado warning, okay? So if you're in the southern part, that doesn't mean, oh, I can come out of my safe place. I'm gonna go turn on my computer or whatever else. I need you to still stay in your safe place because this thing, this thing can take a turn, all right? This is angled down to the south and east. So we could see this take a turn and head down to the south and east versus more so of that due east direction. So we do still have a bit of that hook out there, maybe some hail as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on as far as the data goes. Let's go back to the road, or excuse me, not the rotation, Let's look at the wind field. Let's look at the wind field with this storm right now. Still a little bit of that blue, but not as impressive as it was before, which is good news. This could be falling apart, so we don't have to uh, stay on with the coverage quite as long, but we'll see if that wants to reinvigorate, if it wants to puff back up once again. We still have some of those reds out there right now, so we've got the reds, we've got some of those greens still decently close to each other, so still some concern there. We saw that hook echo, which kind of indicates some of that rotation that you could see within an actual tornado, so this is, this is good. I like to see you know not as much of that bright green not as much of that couplet showing up right now and this is looking a little bit more messy as well again I like to see it right when it's not showing kind of that debris ball signature I want to zoom out here again I actually wanted to zoom out and show you the uh, that correlation coefficient just to see a little bit more of what's going on as far as what could have been a potential for a debris ball. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Again, this is looking, I like what I'm seeing here. We're not seeing that tight ball of blue with that red all surrounding it. So that's definitely some good news, but we do still have the potential there um, over the next few minutes to keep an eye on with this tornado warning that will continue here for the next few minutes. Let's get the data on that really quickly. Actually not the data on that. We're going to get some information here on this tornado warning again. They've taken pretty much all of Tallinn County out. So if you were in Tallinn County, you no longer have that issue as far as the um, 
tornado warning goes. For the most part, there's a small sliver that they kept in there, but this is pretty much moved out of Tallinn County. So this is a tornado warning. Looks like there was an observed tornado with this storm. So this is just some new information. I guess they've updated. At first it was radar indicated, but this was an observed tornado. Now where it touched down, we still have to wait to get that information. But again, this was an observed tornado in northeastern Connecticut. This tornado warning goes until 745. We do still have some of those signs of rotation along with this storm. And it says Tallinn and Wyndham, but the sliver of Tallinn County, I would not be concerned with that. It's really a Wyndham County situation. We still have Chaplin, Hampton and Brooklyn included in this until 745. So seven more minutes. Folks, again, we have more storms out there right now. I pressed the wrong button once again. We have a severe thunderstorm watch currently in place across the entire state of Connecticut. This will go for another hour and a half or so. Let's get some information. Let's see what's going on out there right now as far as the radar goes. So let's put that back on. We've got heavy rain out there right now. We also have a good bit of lightning that we're dealing with in parts of the state. You're seeing those quick little blips, those quick little flashes that's indicating where we have some of that lightning. Let's see if we can pick that up here, see if we have that in our thing. We may not have that, but let's check on the hail. Let's see what we have as far as hail goes. So hail, not really a concern with these storms that we have out there for the most part, but with this this one storm, remember, we have that severe thunderstorm warning also in place right now for this storm. So right around Hamplin, right around Chaplin, around Route 6, we do have a larger hail signature showing up. So again, we have the rotation out there. This was an observed tornado. So we had a tornado on the ground, if not still on the ground. And we also have the hail out there as well. The sun is setting. So it was hard to see out there. So don't need you going outside right now. Need you to be in your safe place, lowest level of your home, away from doors as windows, as far inside of the house as you can get. Maybe if you have like under a stairwell or something, that's where you need to be for at least the next five minutes. This tornado warning will go until 745. All right, so let's take a look at some more of this data. So we looked at the correlation coefficient that showed us, hey, something is looking a little different than the other things around it, right? There's a different size to something going on within this storm. We looked at that wind field, not quite as impressive. Let's look at the rotation tracker once again. Let's see what this is trying to do. If I can please press the right buttons. That would just absolutely be fantastic, right? All right, here's a look at rotation tracker. So we have that system out there in Wyndham County right now, but also may have a little bit of some rotation trying to happen. Let's uh, uh, around the south of Waterbury right now, but I want to take you to the tornado warning. We can zoom back out and look at what's going on um, in areas of northern New Haven County right now. So you see around Chaplin, we've got more of that rotation tracker still being picked up. So the question is, is this still on the ground? We still have that rotation going on right now. So let's look at some downstream spots of where this is back heading toward 395. So my friends in Hampton, my friends in Brooklyn, along Route 6, there's Route 97 cutting through Hampton. This is moving off to the east. So we still have this tornado warning in place right now until 745. And we've got that higher indication of rotation being picked up by our computer system. So we do still have some of that spin going on in the atmosphere. So you need to stay in your safe place, my friends. OK, so if you are downstream of this, if you live east of Hampton along Route 6, heading back towards Brooklyn and Route 169, stay in your safe place. All right. If you live north of Hampton, we still have a severe thunderstorm warning in place for Wyndham County and even Tallinn County as well, because we now have some of that line of uh, the original line of showers and storms that I was keeping an eye on that is now moving um, off to the east, now entering that area of the severe thunderstorm warning. But we still have rotation out there right now and looks like there was a severe thunderstorm warning issued for areas of Fairfield County, but we'll keep an eye on this rotation tracker. What I want to do, though, I want to go and look and see what's going on with this rotation that's being picked up 
uh, south of Waterbury, right along uh, in northern New Haven County right now. So let's just kind of see. This isn't looking as impressive as that rotation tracker that we were seeing into areas of Wyndham County. So we have these small little blobs, blobs of rotation being picked up. So we'll monitor that as these showers and storms are moving through. Let's take it back out to the reflectivity to show you what's going on in this area as well. So this this is kind of impressive. Look how this is kind of curved like a backward C, like a back parentheses. So that kind of looks like something that's called bowing. When the storm is bowing, then we're going to keep an eye out for possibly a strong wind threat into this area. So my friends in Naugatuck, he might have been dealing with some strong winds there a little bit earlier. I have someone uh, tell me they were in Enfield and it was raining sideways because the winds were just so strong with this storm, but on the northern side of the storm. So let's take it back out. Let's look at the full map here. 743 on your Saturday evening. We have an active tornado warning in place for Wyndham County. Outside of that, a severe thunderstorm warning for both Tallinn and Wyndham counties. And then a small little area of a severe thunderstorm warning for southern portions of Fairfield County. So we still have a couple of minutes with that old tornado warning, but they have now extended that. So a new tornado warning has now been issued. Let's click on that. Let's get that information in if we can. Let's see, can we get that? There we go. All right, so let's see what's going on with this new tornado warning. How long is this going to last? And I was just looking there. You can still see some of that hook echo right now. So this tornado warning, that will go until 815. That means we are sticking with you through 815 as this tornado warning moves over closer to our shared border with Rhode Island. So this goes until 815 this evening. Includes Brooklyn, Danielson, Hampton, and Killingly. And that's for Wyndham County. So this was a confirmed tornado on the ground, and this is an extension of that tornado warning as it continues to push off to the east. So this is radar indicated. We saw some of that rotation. Let's show you that right now once again. So again, they've extended this tornado warning until 815 for Wyndham County, which means they're going to drop the one that includes that small part of uh, Tallinn County here pretty soon at 745. So here's a look at live Doppler radar. My friends, let's do this quick reset for the new tornado warning. The old one just dropped at 745 because they've extended this as it pushes off to the east. So this includes Warregan, Killingly, Brooklyn. Also, if you live in Hampton, this is talking about your area. So again, new, tor new tornado warning goes until 8. 15. The storm is moving off to the east, probably around 20 or so miles an hour. But these are the areas that are included. We've got Route 12, Route 6, Route 205, the I-395 corridor. And outside of that, you can see some of this yellow shading here. That's indicating a severe thunderstorm warning that's currently in place. But my concern is this tornado warning. You can see how the storm is kind of heading down just a little bit, trying to hook. We had that strong hook echo not too long ago. And again, we had at least one observed tornado in Connecticut this evening. So this is the extension of this as it continues to push eastward. So again, confirmed observed tornado in Connecticut. So we're keeping an eye on this storm as it continues to push eastward. All right. So we've got 30 more minutes with this uh, tornado warning that's in place for Wyndham County. Let's take a look at some of the data here. All right, let's break things down. Let's start with the wind field. Let's look at the velocity. Let's see, or excuse me, let's start with the correlation coefficient because that's what I clicked on. All right, so this is good. This is kind of what you like to see. We've got all this red that's showing the rain, right? What you look for is some of those cooler colors. You look for some of those blues that would indicate something's a different size than everything around it, which at this point, for the most part, would likely be rainfall, maybe some small hail, but really talking about rainfall here. So we've got a few areas down. Let's let's zoom in. Let's not just say down here. Let's zoom in and see what's going on. Um, so Stetson Corner, Stetson Road around Brooklyn, Route 169. There's Brooklyn Road, Wolfden Road. We've also got Route 6 from Brooklyn over towards uh, Danielson, I believe that is, heading back off to the east. So we're seeing some of this blue here, but it's not as tight. It's not as impressive as what it was a little bit earlier, which again, that's good news. That's what you want to hear, but we'll keep an eye on it because the storm is still trying to rotate. Let's head back to that rotation tracker and see what's going on. We had some of that, um, that red color showing up. 
Not so much the case right now, which again, I like to see that. That could be indicating that this storm is not rotating as much. We don't have so much spin in the atmosphere. But what I still need you to do, my friends in Brooklyn, my neighbors in Brooklyn, my neighbors in Danielson, Waurigan, get to your safe place. Now that will be the lowest level of your home, away from doors and windows, as far away from doors as windows as you can get. So maybe you can head to the basement, head to your first floor. If you have uh, one of those closets under the stairwell, that would be great. Um, if the kids have football helmets, hockey helmets, anything like that. Those are good things to take with you when you are in a tornado warning heading to your safe place. Again, you want to get as far away from doors as windows, doors and windows as you possibly can. So we still have a little bit of that rotation around Stetson Corner, right on Stetson Road, close to where Stetson Road meets Route 6. If you're in that area, that's where that rotation would likely be right now. And you see that slowly shifting off to the east, this far left part of your, excuse me, not your computer, your television is showing that's Hampton behind here. Let's let's close that out. So this is Hampton. So we do have some signs of rotation from eastern areas of Hampton heading across Route 6 towards Stetson Road. So if you're in the Stetson Corner area back towards Brooklyn, this is moving off to the east. So we still have about 25 minutes still left with this tornado warning, but we also do have a severe thunderstorm warning in place as well. So let's do a quick reset. Let's zoom back out to the full state. Are we going to zoom back out? Let's see if this wants to work. Let's start with switching over to the radar and then let's zoom out to the full state. Show you all of what's going on across Connecticut right now. So we've got this line of showers and storms that's moving from northeastern Connecticut down through west, excuse me, eastern Fairfield County. So if you've been along the shoreline all day, it's been hot, it's been humid, but for the most part, it's been dry. It's been a some people wouldn't say nice, but overall it's been a decent day, right? We had the sunshine. It was a good beach day. It was a good pool day, but now we have some of these showers that are starting to push off to the east. So let's go ahead and play these out, show you these showers and storms. I believe they're moving anywhere between about 20 and 30 miles an hour. They may have sped up while I've been on the air here with the tornado warning, but you can see as they push off to the east, we continue to watch areas along that I-95 corridor heads up to the Elm City. If you're in New Haven watching this, we've got some of those showers, some of those storms moving your way as well. And I keep looking at our Groton camera, our new London camera. It's been absolutely beautiful all day, but I think we're going to start to see some of that rain pushing in here pretty soon. So we've got this line of showers and storms. We've got the lightning out there right now as well. So one thing I want to talk about. Let's zoom back in here and then we can look at the full picture here a little bit later. That's zoomed in a little bit too much, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Actually here, let's look at this. You can see that little bit that's kind of hanging down to the south here right along Route 6. That's what's called a hook echo. It's not as strong as it was a little bit before. However, it's still there. It's still a sign. Route 169, Route 205 heading down to Waurigan back towards Killingly. This is your heads up. This is moving off to the east. We continue with this tornado warning until 815, but I want to talk a little bit more about this severe thunderstorm warning that has uh, pretty much wrapped around this new tornado warning because we had one in place a little bit a little while ago. So this severe thunderstorm warning, which is this yellow polygon that goes until 815 same time that the uh, tornado warning would also expire. So this includes Killingly, also includes Plainfield, Stores, Waurigan. Again, this severe thunderstorm warning also includes all of the areas included in the tornado warning. They both end at the same time, 8.15 this evening. And just a reminder, as we're heading toward the eight o'clock hour, this was, we had an observed tornado here in Connecticut. So this is the extension of the original tornado warning, but around that, we still have this severe thunderstorm warning that continues until 815 and I'll have to see if they want to issue another one here because they may we will keep an eye on it. We have a severe thunderstorm watch currently in place until I believe it's nine o'clock this evening. So let's zoom back out. Let's head back to the radar here. Let's show you the full map of Connecticut. Let's show you the full map of Connecticut. Let's zoom back out there. Looks like they may have updated this tornado warning. That's what that icon is down toward the bottom part of your screen. They may have chopped off the uh, western part of that. So 
getting some people out of that warning here. Uh, you see, we've got this line of showers and storms. Let's take a look at this update with the tornado warning. Let's look at the update. All right, let's click it. There we go. So it looks like they may have uh, cut off some of the western zones of this tornado warning, but you can still see this little area of rainfall that's trying to hook back down and around. So that's what's called that hook echo. That's what we're keeping an eye on. And then also because we already have the tornado observation, this is something that we're continuing to watch here as we go through the next mm, what 20 or so minutes. So stick with us here. Once this gets out of the area, Yet we're still watching showers and storms that are pushing through, dropping heavy areas of rain through the state. So this is that tornado warning. This goes until 815 this evening. So we've got 20 two ish minutes if I can do my math correctly here on the fly. But you see lots of heavy rain associated with this. So if there is rotation, if there is at least a funnel cloud, there's a good chance that you probably won't be able to see it. It's almost also almost eight o'clock in the evening. So that sun has gone down. It's a little bit on the darker side out there. So keep an eye on that and keep an eye on your safe place as well. That's where I need you to be. So let's talk about some of the information with this tornado warning. Again, this does include areas like Killingly, Warregan until 815, Danielson, East Brooklyn, you see Route 12, where Route 12 meets 395, heading all the way down to right around where you would uh, probably exit 395 to head toward Warregan. That's where we have this tornado warning in place. So this is just Wyndham County. This is going to be pushing off to the east here. Eventually, it will exit areas of Connecticut, and it actually does look like the line of showers and storms that we were watching back off to the uh, west is starting to catch up with this right now. So this this is the storm that we're watching. You see all these deep reds, those uh, orange colors, and this little area that's kind of like hanging down here, trying to hook back off to the east. That's that hook echo. That's the area that we're watching. But you see, we're starting to see more of that heavy rain, that line of showers and storms catching up with this. So we don't need you to head to the window, try and take pictures. I don't need to see your pictures. I need you to be in your safe place as this continues to move eastward. So let's zoom into where we're seeing this little little bit of a hook some areas that are kind of under the gun rights. Now we're talking about Allen Hill Road, South Street, heading back towards Route 12 in the Danielson, Brooklyn area, Wolf Den Road. We're kind of dealing with that. For the most part, if you're joining us from Stetson Corner, the worst of this has now moved east. So our Brooklyn neighbors dealing with this right now. You also have the heavy rain out there. You also might be dealing with some of that lightning as well right now as this continues to push east. So Danielson, if you're along 395, around Danielson. I need you to get to your safe place as this continues to move off to the east. Once I zoomed in, you can see that hook echo. See how it comes down and kind of curves back or is trying to curve back around to the east. That's something that we keep an eye on when we're watching the radar. It's one of many things, but that's called a hook echo because it does a little bit of a a little bit of a hook, right? So that's kind of a visual cue that, hey, this is something we need to keep an eye out for. So let's look at some of the rotation. Let's see what the rotation tracker is trying to show us here. Still a little bit of that rotation, maybe not quite as strong as it was a little bit earlier. If you were joining us a few minutes ago, we had some of those red colors indicating that stronger indication of rotation. So we still have some, but it's on the weaker side, which is good, but we still have a tornado warning in place, so that is not good. So safe zone is where you need to be. Turn the TV up if you're along route uh, I-395, excuse me, if you're along Route 12, you should already be in your safe place. Your TV should already be put on the highest level so you can hear what's going on as this continues to push off to the east. Allen Hill Road, Route 205, where Route 205 meets Allen Hill Road. We've got some of that rotation being picked up by our system here. I want to talk about, let's see if we still have a couplet. Let's see if we can see those reds and those greens pretty close together. And it doesn't necessarily look like we have that right now, but again, let's zoom out. We've got this widespread area of some rain uh, being picked up 
uh, by the, uh, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So we've got this line of showers and storms that's pushing now off to the east, catching up with this one storm that we're watching for this tornado warning that's in place right now. So again, my friends in Killingly, you're under the gun for that tornado warning right now, but we also have a severe thunderstorm warning that also goes for the next 15 minutes or so. So we'll keep an eye on that, but we're watching this area of heavy rain catching up to this one or what used to be an isolated storm right now that's pushing closer and closer to the I-395 quarter. So that's what we're watching as far as the tornado warning. Big picture, however, we have a severe thunderstorm warning that's still in place. Now let's see if we can get some of that velocity. Let's look at what the wind field is doing with these storms. Now what I'm noticing is we've got these bright greens. So the brighter the green, the stronger the winds, right? So we've got some of those bright greens showing up. Let's see if we can zoom in maybe see some of that rotation, maybe a little hard to pick up here, but there's a little bit of some different color going on here south of East Brooklyn. But as far as the wind field goes, it is just showing inbound winds, which means the winds are moving toward the radar. But again, we've got this more widespread area of rain that's pushing through this line of storm. So it could be uh, messing with the uh, wind field there just a little bit, but that's good. We don't have that red and that green coupled up close together. So this is definitely a good indication as we head toward the final 15 minutes of this tornado warning and also the severe thunderstorm warning that's also all around it. So wind velocities, we've got some strong winds out there, but there are a couple of spots where maybe we could be dealing with some of those, uh, some of that rotation. So let's see what we have. What have we not looked at? Let's look at storm relative winds. So, okay, this is just relative winds to how the storm is moving. So you take out the storm motion uh, velocity and that's where we get this st storm relative winds. And it looks like they just issued another severe thunderstorm warning for some of the areas included in this tornado warning heading off into Rhode Island. So we'll talk about that in just a second, but let's talk about the storm relative wind. Again, we subtracted the motion of the storm. So we're just seeing the winds that are moving within the storm itself. So this is the tornado warn storm. So you can see here's that tornado warning box, that red box here. And this is that new severe thunderstorm warning that they just issued heading into Rhode Island. So you can see some of those reds, but I'm not really seeing a strong couplet with the storm relative winds, which again, that's a good sign. We may not be dealing with as much rotation as when there was an observed tornado a little bit earlier this evening. So again, that's good news. Let's talk a little bit about this new severe thunderstorm warning. Let's get some information on that. Let's also, oh, it reset to the, uh, it reset to the radar on its own. And actually they just dropped that tornado warning. I was just saying we don't have that couplet anymore. We're no longer really or not concerned, but I'm not as impressed by what I'm seeing with that tornado warning. So again, tornado warning has been dropped early, but I want to give you some quick information on this new severe thunderstorm warning that was issued and then we will let you get back to regular Saturday evening NBC programming here. So this severe thunderstorm warning that goes until 845. Now there is still that tornado possible tag on this severe thunderstorm warning. So I'm going to keep watching this. We're going to keep you updated. But again, this is moving out of Connecticut and into areas of Rhode Island. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna zoom out because I've completely covered the area of Connecticut in the severe thunderstorm warning as it zoomed in. So let's zoom back out and then I'm gonna go here. Let's go to alerts, let's go to warnings and then we're gonna, we're gonna tap on this one here. Let's look at this. So again, this is a severe thunderstorm warning that will go until 845 radar indicated wind speeds upwards of 60 miles an hour. But again, it still has that tornado possible tag on it. Again, we had an observed tornado earlier this evening, so I'll keep watching that specific storm. Let's show you the full picture of the radar one more time before I let you go back to programming here. Let's go to the reflectivity. All right, so we've got this line of showers and storms that's pushing eastward. My friends in northern Litchfield County, if you're up towards Salisbury and Norfolk, you've got a much nicer day on the way tomorrow. Most of that rain has now moved out of your area. Let's put a loop on this. 
So you can see it's pushing out in the Hartford area along I-91 up towards Windsor Locks and Field. My friends, things are quieting down for you right now. So this sh these showers and storms are continuing to push off to the east. We're keeping an eye on this storm in particular, even though it's going to be crossing the I-395 quarter, no longer tornado worn. We're going to keep an eye on this guy right here as it continues to push closer and closer to our shared border with Rhode Island. No more severe, or excuse me, no more tornado warnings in place, but we'll monitor the rest of the showers and storms as we head through the evening. And if there are no more severe thunderstorm warnings, we will see you once again on NBC Connecticut News at 11. I'm meteorologist Rochelle J. Thank you for watching.